Hola! Hello and welcome to my first video from beautiful Argentina. Um, I'm on the terrace of my hostel and I've got this gorgeous yarn that I bought the other day at a yarn store here. Um, and I'm going to show you how to wind it because the thing is, um, they didn't wind it for me at the store. And I realized that I don't have a video yet on doing it all by yourself. So just a few things really quick about, this is called a skein of yarn when it's twisted up in a pretzel like this. And just pop it open like this to undo it and it should untwist and it should be like this. So when you have yarn in a skein, what I want you to be really careful of is something like this happening. Okay? Like you, if that happens, you will cry. So please don't do that. Keep everything like in a, in a circle like this if you can. And the way that you um, are going to know that it's in a circle is it's going to be tied in these different spots like that so you'll be able to tell like if the yarn is like crossing over the ties you'll be able to tell but watch like if I do that like you can't really tell so make sure that the salesperson whoever is careful with your yarn if you don't have time to wind it and you need to store it carefully I mean I guess you can hang it on your wall like this that would be that would be lovely but to keep it safe I'm gonna show you how to twist it back up into a skein okay hold it like this and start twisting with one of your hands like that so it gets all twisted up Maybe like three times get it really twisty there we go like that and then just bring the ends together and it's going to want to twist on its own like that and then pop the one end through the other end like that so you have it in a skein again so i'm going to show you close up exactly how to wind this into a ball that you can knit from if you don't have like a, a swift and a ball winder at home which i don't have with me okay to wind this skein um, into a ball so that you can knit from Undo the skein and lay out your yarn in a circle like that on the table. All right. Next, what I want you to do is find the places where the here we go where the yarn is attached like that, and just go ahead and cut these little short pieces of yarn like that. And let's see, careful. There's another one. Let's see, I want you to be able to see it. There we go. Okay. Alright, see I only cut that one time. We can cut that off right there if you want. Alright. Now, this one, just cut that one. And on this side too. Alright, this looks like it is tied to... Oh, the yarn's got two ends. Oh, awesome. Okay, sometimes you're going to find yarn like that. All right, usually it has one more tie. In this case, I think we only have one. Ah, okay, so in that case, it makes sense that there's two ends, right? All right, we can just go ahead and cut that off. I don't know why they did it like that. Some yarns that you have to be careful with like this are... Arcania does one where... I don't know, if you cut the tag off, it's like... It's awful. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is... Spread out the yarn like this until you've got like a clear path to uh, a clear path to the yarn. So let's do this. Let's start winding it up into a ball like that. Just go like that. We have a lot of yarn here, so I'm not going to make a center pull ball go like that. All right. So as you come to something like this where it's inside, just go ahead and open the skein up like that and leave it open because the yarn is going to like come from it wants to come from the inside. So just follow it around like that, winding up the ball as you go, like that. And be really, really careful here. You can't, there, can you see that? You cannot be too careful. Just open it up like that. Especially with yarn like this that's just pure wool, it's gonna wanna stick, it's gonna wanna stick to itself. So don't go too fast. But there you go, just go ahead and separate it from the skein winding it up into a ball around your fingers and just turn the ball as you go like that. In the beginning it's a little bit hard to get started, but see how I'm just turning the skein to to let it expose where the yarn wants to come from? This one, it wants to come from the inside. It may want to come from the outside of the skein. Just go ahead and turn the, open up the skein or turn it over to reveal the yarn like that. So this is why you want to make certain that the yarn doesn't do this while you're traveling, because otherwise you're going to have a huge tangle right where that happens, okay? 
And I don't want you to have to experience that. I just want you to take my word for it. All right, so we keep winding like that. Ah, lovely downtown Mendoza. Some sirens, it's actually not too loud right now. There we go. All right, so you get the idea. Just separate it with your fingers as you go, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so my skein started to become kind of unruly, and I wanted to show you, speaking of unruly, it's loud, I wanted to show you another option. You can do this if you have a stool or a friend to help you to hold the yarn like this, but I'm gonna have the stool do it. Let's see if that'll work pretty well. That seems to be good. So now you can go around like this. That way, because I was like wanting to go fast and it was wanting to stick to itself. So this is an option if you, um, if you have a lot of yarn as well, like if you're doing sock yarn. I hope you don't have to do sock yarn by yourself, but I guess if you have to wind sock yarn by yourself in Argentina, then I guess it's okay. So that is another option. A lot of people use the back of a chair. But this stool seems like it's kind of perfect for winding yarn. Maybe I should open a store right here. All right. Oh, that's another fast way to do it. How about that? You need to start to pull. All right. And so if you want, you can turn this into a center pull ball. I do have a video on how to make a center pull ball, but just put this in like a, in like a plastic bag or something. There we go. Let's put it in like a bag or a plastic bag because it is going to roll all around the floor when you try to knit with it. And if you have pets, they're going to love it, but you're not. So, all right. I am now going to design something amazing with this yarn and give you the pattern. <laughs> 